what happens when you get the evangelical industrial complex is you get a lot of people who are and today he made a comment that blew my mind even more as someone that operates in this space as someone that always has his kids within arm's reach as someone that doesn't have to deal with a bunch of shenanigans none of that seems appealing to me hillsong co-founder brian houston reportedly told the court at his trial that he now believes my father bruce lawn i think it's i think there's 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 a there's a, there's a tension here okay Here's, here's the tension, okay? One side of it is on the internet and in most comments section and, and even many creators, there is a sense of tall poppy syndrome, okay? If you've never heard of it, it's this desire to cut others down who may not be, um, who you may not feel should have the platform that they should have. And there's a lot of that. There's a lot of trying to cut people down, right? Have you guys ever heard of this tall poppy syndrome? It's, all, it's, it's an interesting phenomenon. I'll read it to you guys briefly because I got to explain it before we move on to the, to the opposite of it. What is tall poppy syndrome? Tall poppy syndrome, a term that was popularized in Australia, occurs when people are attacked, resented, disliked, criticized, or cut down because of their achievements and or success. Tallest poppy gets chopped down because you're standing out uh, above others, right? This is a lot of the toxicity on the internet. And so sometimes when people make content critiquing it could, it could just be from that place, right? Now, I don't presume to know people's motives. That's another fallacy that people get into, right? Is that, uh, well, you do this because of Tall Poppy. I don't know people's motives like that. I don't know anybody's heart. I know my heart. And um, I know that I, I, I have zero, zero desire, zero desire to have the platform of a Stephen Furtick um, to have a platform of a, of, a, of a Mike Todd, to have the platform of a um, Brian Houston. Th honestly, that sounds like a big headache. As someone that operates in this space, as someone that always has his kids within arm's reach, as someone that doesn't have to deal with a bunch of shenanigans, none of that seems appealing to me. Okay, so I don't desire that. Okay, um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be ultra wealthy like that. I don't desire that. So sometimes people will say, well, it's because of your motives. It's because you're exhibiting the top poppy syndrome. And I would just say, I'm not. I'm just genuinely concerned because there's genuinely people being affected by some of this stuff, right? I don't want to say anybody negatively, negatively affected, especially when it comes to kingdom. That's one side of it, right? Now, the other side is there's an actual evangelical industrial complex within groups where people benefit off oftentimes the back of tithes and finances that people think are going to local church ministry, but is really going to building the platform of someone else. And this will get scaled into multi-country, multinational corporation-like businesses, as we saw with Hillsong, and then we saw the subsequent rise and fall of Hillsong. There's an industrial complex that also needs to be addressed. There's, there's, there's unhelpful and unhealthy things going on behind the scenes that Many of us don't talk about publicly, but are kind of wild. And then there's the things that we know are public that get reported, that are in print, that are verified. And uh, do you? A lot of these mega church pastors are Machiavellian. I, I think so. I think that I think the unjustified means is just Amer American ideology. It's not Christian ideology. But I think I think a lot of us fall into that type of thinking. If if we're going to be honest with ourselves, like there's a lot of us that think like, and justify the means. What does it matter? I'm trying to get to the bag. I'm trying to reach as many people as possible by any means necessary. And that's not always helpful. That's not always helpful, and the, nor is that biblical, right? And so, but, but it is a part of the evangelical industrial complex. It is a part of the evangelical industrial complex. And what happens when you get the evangelical industrial complex is you get a lot of people who are uh, protecting each other. You get a lot of people who do never address the internal issues and stuff gets swept under the rug and sw swept under the rug and swept under the rug. And where we get to is a situation like the Brian Houston situation, which he has every right to defend himself. He's innocent until proven guilty. But this is a doozy of a situation. Trigger warning, buckle yourselves in. This is nuts. This is insane. If you guys don't know, Brian Houston is uh, the overseer, elder, pastor, or was rather of Hillsong International Church. Now Hillsong has been in hot water. They have churches literally, on, on, I think, on every continent, if if not on every continent, pretty close. Okay, there's Hillsong Ukraine, there's Hillsong Moscow, there's Hillsong London, there's Hillsong New York, there's Hillsong LA. There's there's Hillsongs everywhere. Many of them started closing and started suffering and started going through issues, but um, because of some of this backlash and him being kind of forced to step down. Now he's on trial right now. And he's on trial 
for allegedly knowing that his father committed essay against children and not reporting him, which is a crime in Australia. I think that's a crime everywhere, but definitely a crime in Australia. And today he made a comment that blew my mind even more. Okay, and uh, this is this is nuts. And again, this is this is the kind of stuff from the industrial complex that I think absolutely needs to be addressed. And I do not think is something to 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 like ignore or not not talk about or whatever. Okay, so this is okay. So this is from the Julie uh, the the Roy's report. Okay, and uh, she does fairly fairly solid journalism um, for the most part. And so here is what she is reporting. Hillsong co-founder Brian Houston reportedly told the court at his trial that he now believes my father was a serial pedo and will probably never know the extent of it. That, 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 that's a quote that's attributed to him. It's a quote that is attributed to him. Hey, you may not know I make music, but I have a brand new song that just came out. Here's a quick preview. I went from being a porn addict to sharing the gospel with a porn actress who was criticized for being low status by the same OnlyFans who treat us so lavish. I'm confused. I swear y'all thought he did doing podcasts, hot takes. He still can rap. Now, this is my first song that I've released in over a year. So I need you to go to Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you consume music and stream too soon right now. Add it to your favorite playlist, share it with a friend. So hit the link in the description or go to ruslantothemoon.com to stream too soon now. I'll see you over there. But he still thinks he did the right thing by not reporting the allegations to police during his father's lifetime. Houston, who resigned from Hillsong under pressure back in March, stated during the final days of a three-week special hearing. So this came out. Authorities charged Houston last year with one, court, one count of concealing a serious inductible offense. Houston, 68, pled, uh, ple ple pleaded not guilty and made his case during the special hearing in Australia court. The hearing wrapped up last Wednesday. Authorities and Houston's defense team now have six months to prepare final arguments. Houston is expected to return to court for closing arguments in June 2023. If convicted, the court could sentence Houston to a prison term of two years. This man said, my father is a serial pedo and will never know the extent of his impact on people. And he could be facing two years in prison. Why? Well, because he did not report this. Because he seemingly knew and he has his reasons for why he didn't report it, but it's a tough situation to be in, absolutely. I couldn't imagine. Could you imagine if this was your dad? Crazy. Nevertheless, legally speaking, he was obligated to report this, and he didn't. Houston wrote on Instagram that he can't comment on the court case, but that he'll be building for the future in the coming months. And of course, he has his latest extravaganza that got going and yada 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 an earlier instagram post shows houston and his wife uh preached in november at lifehouse church he also preached last month at exchange church and days after an apparent ministry comeback near hillsong's flagship campus so he did a whole ministry comeback criminal charges stem from allegations that brian houston's late father frank houston essayed a uh brett singstock when singstock was as young as seven years old Prosecutors say Brian Houston failed to report the abuse to police before Frank's death in 2004, even though he had known about it for years. Brian Houston reportedly testified that his father admitted to him in 1999 that this happened. Testimony and, uh, indicated Frank Houston later admitted to abusing multiple, essay multiple children. The National Assemblies of God, known as the Australian uh, Christian Church, reportedly yanked Frank's preaching credentials in November 1999 when Houston told the denomination leaders the accusation. But neither Houston nor the ACC reported the allegations to police at that time. ACC drafted a statement in 2000 acknowledging claims of serious moral failure without mentioning SA against kids. The statement was to be published only if rumors about Frank Houston spread too widely or if he failed to stay out of the pulpit. Then, in March 20, 2002, March 2002, Brian Houston acknowledged a very serious moral accusation against his father during a sermon at Hillsong without specifying it was S.A. against kids. The prosecution claimed Brian Houston's sermon minimized uh, what his father had done. He reportedly denied it. 
right? And I'm pretty sure after the fact, he continued preaching. He continued preaching. The prosecution suggested Brian Houston didn't report the allegations because he didn't want to risk his church's reputation. He reportedly denied that. The church Brian Houston founded in 1983 merged with his father's church, founded to become Hillsong Church in 2001. Hillsong went on to spread across the globe, now reporting 150,000 people attending services in 60 countries. Yeah. Over four days of testimony, Brian and others uh, reportedly testified they were following saying stocks wishes and not going to the police. That's their, 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 that's their side of the story. Their side of the story is this victim did not want them to go to police. Therefore, that is why they did not do that. They did not report it. That is their, that is their story. Okay. Brian Houston also testified he disclosed the allegations to ACC leaders over Sing Stock's objections. Earlier in a hearing, Sing Stock, now 60, reportedly denied saying he did not want authorities involved. Houston also claimed authorities must have known about the alleged SA before Frank for, for Frank's death. News media covered the allegations. News Corp Australia reported and multiple police officers attended Hillsong and would have heard Brian talk about it there. But Houston reportedly uh, didn't answer when prosecutors pressed him about whether he even thought his father should be imprisoned for the alleged abuses. He also reported reportedly defended the retirement package his father received. This man received a retirement package. Yuck. This is a pattern of behavior. This is a pattern of abuse. This is a pattern of sickness. This is a different different what did Abba and say? This is a different type of sickness. This is over the top. And the fact that he knew about it, the fact that he didn't report it to police, the fact that there's other people involved. <sighs> Not some serious stuff. Because at, at some point, you got to take your son hat off and you got to put on your pastor hat on, right? And say, this is not okay. I cannot cover this up. Yeah, man, this ain't, um, this ain't it. Like, this is definitely not it. This is definitely not how you uh, deal with these sorts of situation situations. This is some really dark stuff. Some really, really, really dark stuff. So, hey, this clip is from our daily after party stream. If you enjoyed it, consider signing up for our Patreon community for only $5 a month, where you get access to the replays of our daily after party streams, as well as the uncut extended versions of our podcast, Discord access that's private, and a discount code for our merch store. Only five dollars a month and ultimately it's the best way to help us contextualize the gospel of jesus using media podcasting and of course youtube the link for that is in the description or in the pinned comment the perks are amazing you should get on there it's only five dollars a month i'll see you over there all right peace